Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are going to be replaying Resident Evil 7. And this is actually one of my favourites in the Resident Evil series of games. Resident Evil 7 is probably, for me, just behind Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 1 Remake in terms of my overall favourites, so it's probably like my third favourite in the franchise. And the reason I thought it would be a great time to replay this particular game is because, of course, in about a month or two, we've got Resident Evil 8 Village coming out, and that actually she continues the story of Ethan who's the main character in this game. So I thought to get you guys prepared for that, we'll do a playthrough, perhaps do a story explained video, look at some of the monsters and stuff that appear in this game and maybe do a video on those as well, and just really kind of dive into Resident Evil 7, make sure you guys have a good understanding of it, have seen a playthrough of it if you haven't already, and are all ready and set to go when we do our full playthrough of Resident Evil Village on the channel in May, because that is going to be coming, it's going to be a huge part of the channel, so I hope you're excited for it. I'm a really big fan of Resident Evil so I couldn't be more excited to dive into the next installment but I'm also really excited to go back to 7 and just relive some classic nostalgia here. This game's only a few years old, I think since 2017 it came out so it's not super old but at the same time not super new either. Either way guys I hope you enjoy my playthrough, with everything said let's dive in and enjoy Resident Evil 7 once more. So I'm just going to let you guys listen to this intro. I just wanted to send a quick hello and I love you. Oh, good news. I'm going to be coming home soon. Yay! Oh, I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job and come home to my loving husband. I miss you. Oh, I got to get back to work. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Bye, baby. It's turned sinister. So that is the original message she was going to send. And this is the new one. Ethan. You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have... All I can say is that if you get this... Stay away! We didn't take that advice. Just gonna... Spoiler warning. We don't stay away. Hello? Hey, it's, uh... It's Ethan. Oh, hey. You alright? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead. She's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. And maybe it's a prank, but she wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. Dude, it's been three years. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. So here we go guys, we're in the game now, I'm now in control, I'm not actually driving the car but I can look around, you can see we're playing as Ethan, who is obviously Mia's husband, Mia was the woman in the recording, sending us that sort of tape recording, and he says it's been three years since we've seen her, so like we've been separated for quite some time at this point. But as you can see guys, this is a nice looking game. Today we're playing on PS4. So this is the PS4 version. Um, and I think I'm going to be playing Resident Evil Village on PS5. So we'll be getting the like full next gen visuals on that game and stuff and all the ray tracing and all that good stuff. But as you can see, we're just in the bayou at the moment. Uh, I've got all these flies, it's kind of nasty here. And we're making our way towards this house. And this is where... Mia's last known location was before she went missing. Let's check our objective. So as you can see we've got a map here guys. We can look around on the map in classic Resident Evil style. Uh, we've also got files. No files have been collected so far. The gate is locked so we're not getting through there are we? We're gonna have to find another way into that house. 
let's head down this little back path here. Ooh, look. Got an abandoned van. It's like a TV reporter's van or something. Sewer Gators. Sewer Gators Episode 17, Project Proposal. Sneak into a Louisiana ghost house. So this is Louisiana, it's set. Oh, it says join us on the back of a script. This was the TV crew that snuck into the house, but they've gone missing now. It says accept her gift on here. Not sure that I uh, want to sort of know what that means. Again, lots of flies. Is there like a dead body around here or something? I guess it is for Bayou. You get a lot of flies in the swamps, don't you? Oh dear. <laughs> That's Uncle Jack, I think, just strolling through the woods. We'll get to meet him in short order, don't you guys worry. That's creepy. Oh, I forgot he just walks around like that sometimes. There's a lot of crows around here too, like, what are they feasting on? Uh. Okay. Some nondescript carcass. Let's hope it's not human. Whoa. <laughs> Just turn around and see this. It looks like something out of a Saw movie, doesn't it? We've got like buzz saws hanging and like the head of an ox there. And we've got to crouch through this. Are you kidding me? Oh, look, we've got an old water tower over there as well. And here's the house. Look, we've actually found it. Nice. Oh, what's this? Is that like a purse? Examine in detail. Driver's license. It's Mia's driving license. A printout of an email from your wife, Mia, who has been missing for three years. Mia's driving license is covered in a strange black substance. Surely just charcoal because it's been burned it's probably not is it let's be honest that black substance is going to be something weird all right the house entrance guys we've made it let's go on inside it's very dark though the heck the door shut the door shut of its own accord it's never a good sign if you've got doors closing behind you of their own accord Okay. I'm gonna head on. This looks like it's locked, so we're gonna need something to open that. Okay. Oh, and they keep their kitchen in fantastic condition, don't they? Very hygienic. We've got dishes with rotting food and maggots on them. If, is the water even working here? Nope. Just a trickle of goop. Okay, what about in here? Oh, lovely. Roasted crow. My favorite. What about in here? Ugh, there's roaches in there and everything. Ah, fuck, fuck! Man, I hate creepy crawlies. That'd be like my nightmare. To be honest, I'd already be out of the house. I'd be like, you know what? My wife's probably not in here. <laughs> Let's go. Got a picture here as well. Interesting. Hmm, that's locked. What's in uh, the fridge? Let's have a look. Probably a head or something. Nope, just rotten flesh. You know what? I'm gonna get it out of here. There's nothing for us here, guys. Anyone home? Hello? It's too quiet. There's a door here. We go in. Yes. Oh, we've got a TV over there. It's a weird looking photograph. That kind of looks like Mia, doesn't it? In her underwear. I hope uh, they haven't been doing anything weird to her. Okay. Gain. Just sort of seems to be reacting on its own accord. 
And we can see here, now this is for Baker family guys, I actually do know the story here, I'm trying to sort of act like I don't know what's going to happen because some of you guys might not know, but this is like, they're the Baker family, they're the owners and there's two children with them. We will find out what the identity of those two, two children is as we go through the game. We've got a picture of a prison cell there, but we need something for this tape player, okay, this VCR here. So we need to go and have a look around the rest of the house. There's also a fuse we need for this fuse box. So let's go upstairs, because there was an upstairs area back here. Let's go on up into the attic. Here we go, we've got a save point here. And we've got a tape here as well. Right, let's head back downstairs, guys. We've now got the videotape, so we can actually go and check out what is on it because we've got a VCR down here of course like we saw before so let's plug in the tape and see what's on it derelict house June 1st Dolvey haunted house rehearsal so here we go this is a tape from the sort of crew that we saw their van like parked outside this is their videotape Whoa, <laughs> a guy's face just popped into the view. Yeah, break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, this guy's a douchebag. Sure sound is right this time. I don't want to repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. It's like the typical TV presenter okay. douchebag. I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. Why is that moving we by can. itself? We do a walk through the inside first. Then we shoot the intro, just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? Please say that when you <laughs> when you actually do your show. It'll probably make it better. I have a feeling like this is one of those really like crappy TV shows, like the really like bargain basement quality ones that are on like in the early hours of the morning that no one really watches. Are we rolling? All right, let's go. We're going. We're filming. Let's do it. Get out of the way. I don't know if you should just break into someone's house, though. You know. It's locked. After you. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? Okay, this is kind of creepy. Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? <laughs> nothing. Yeah, you're nothing special, Pete. A B-grade TV presenter. What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long did you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. Oh, yeah, the pot of rotting so, uh, food. Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not hillbillies, the bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seed, apparently. Oh, there's no crows ah, in there shit. yet. What, what, what's happened? No, I shouldn't wear my good shoes. Yeah, well... That's going to happen. I mean, look at the state of this place. You're going to oh, step in some yeah. uh, crud on the floor. Ghost sighted in the bayou. Ooh. Although, this will make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? Oh, where's he gone? Where's our cat? Where's Andre? our uh, producer? Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? Um, no. I didn't see where, where he went. Where is he? Unfucking believable. This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me. Uh, yeah, I, I feel confident that you'll take me sort of safely out of this place. You seem like you've got a good head on your shoulders. Not. This guy seems um, pretty inept. Oh, we've got something in what here. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? I didn't hear anything, man. I think it's all in your head. Andre? Where the fuck is he? Where are you hiding at, Andre? 
There we go, the Baker family. This is the room that we are literally standing in, but there's no VCR player at the moment for some reason. What the hell? What have you got? Oh, look, there's a lever. You guys are fucking kidding. It's opened a secret panel. All right, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. Okay, after you. Ladies first. This is kind of creepy. I forgot how spooky this game is. We're going to go down there next. Go on then, Mr. Hero. You first. No. You Need first. A nice hero shot of me. Oh, what? Coming down the ladder. The game just made me so, go down. Uh, you first. I love his excuse, we need a hero shot of him coming down the ladder. It's like, sure. What do you see? Um, what is it? Uh, let's have a look. What do I see? Anything? Oh, Andre. Hello there, my friend. How's it going? Oh. Okay. Well, Andre is pretty dead. He's pretty impaled. <laughs> Poor Andre. See that guy in the corner like approaching us as well. So all three of these crew members befell pretty bad fates. They're all probably dead by now. Yeah, I think they're gone. We've got to pull the lever under here. This is going to reveal a secret passage, of course. There we go. And now, hopefully we can find out where Mia is. Down this ladder. Don't know if we want to go down here because we literally just went down there as the uh, cameraman and found out that our friend was murdered down here. Now the ladder's breaking. Now we have no choice. There's no way back up. Damn it. So the only option we now have is to head on forward because there's no way we're getting back up that ladder. That's done for. Oh man, we got water. Look how narrow it gets as well, guys. We're gonna actually have to like, maybe go under this water. That would terrify me because like I have a real phobia of tight, like confined spaces and also like water in tight confined spaces like caves and stuff. So for me, this would be like the worst. The water doesn't look too clean either, does it? Oh, what the heck is that? Sitting under there, guys. I'm getting out. Maybe the bodies of those people are like under this water, just sunken. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's Andre just floating in the water. Didn't really get a nice burial. We're out of the water, out of a frying pan and into the prison cell. Surely we'll find... What is that noise? Oh, here we go. This looks like her. Mia? Okay, she's on the bed over there. We can't get through though. Bolt cutters. And we've got a note. Ben dead. Harold turned. Arthur turned. Tamara turned. Craig dead. Le uh, Layla dead. Sean dead. William dead. Travis turned. Travis is obviously one of the people we just saw. Peter dead. Peter again, one of the people we just saw. Andre dead. And Clancy living. Ooh. Wait, Clancy was the camera guy, wasn't he? He's actually living still. Okay, maybe we'll see Clancy again then. We've got the bolt cutters. I'm going to free Mia from the cell. It's a jailbreak. Hopefully she's okay. Mia. Oh, thank God I found you. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? 
You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? He? Who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! I hope she means daddy and not some kind of weird euphemism. Let's get out of here, Mia. Lead on. I must say, like, the character models look really good Where in this game. Me? Someplace safe. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? No, I just made it up as a joke. What do you think? Oh. Who is that? Give us some info here, Mia. What? What is this place? What'd they do to you? Not now. We need to get out of here first. I, I think it's this way. What is this? It's like some weird place where they've chained people down. I mean, look at these, like, sacks of flesh as well. It's like they've chopped up all the bodies yeah, and disposed of talk. them. That message you sent me. Not me. That wasn't me. But you did. I didn't. Okay, fine. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything that I know. We have to go this way. This is where they like dump all of the possessions of the people they capture. Mia, are you sure you know where you're going? The family used to bring me food through here. I remember. Okay. Let's slip through then. There. It's there. What, the exit? This is it. Come on, then. No point in hanging about. I remember this room. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Okay. Let's look. Um, it's not here. It's gone. It's gone. Stop panicking. It's alright. I'll help. Got a weird sort of doll-like statue here. And another one here. Okay. Whoa, what, what's going on? What the heck? What happened? Where have you gone? She's like disappeared again. Alright, this isn't good, but at least we're back in the house now. But yeah, Mia's just disappeared. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have been ch checking out the doll room, right guys? Maybe you shouldn't have been looking in there and we should have stayed with her after... We just found her after three years. Look, we've got the guest house map though now. We can actually have a look around the house and sort of see where we need to go. We've got an, a key in the kitchen, or is that something that needs to be unlocked in the kitchen? Let's check out the bathroom over here. See if there's anything here of note. Ooh, first aid, nice. Another first aid. We can probably use those because I'm playing on normal mode. Wait, there's some banging. What is that? Who's banging? What is that? A hissing noise. Is that Mia? Oh god. Yes, but not as we know her. She's strong. She's got some superhuman strength going for her. Uh, okay. Oh, resist, resist, resist. Resist. Oh, man. Right through the hand. Are you kidding me? Wait. It's going to stab me through the hand and the arm? Resist, 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 resist. It's going for the eye. She's going for the eye. Wow. That is one hell of an attack. 
I can hear her. I can feel her clawing her way back inside of me. Just hang on. We're going to get you out. Oh, okay. We'll do that, maybe. Leave me alone. That's going to hurt. I've been back. I deserve this. Ooh. That is going to give you a headache and a half. You're going to need some strong paracetamol the next day if you hit your head like that repeatedly. Um, use the first aid med with R1. Okay, there we go. So, she kind of savaged us then. Oh, she's just come back to life. That's not good. She's so strong. That's nuts. She put us through an actual war. Um, might want to run. Ethan. Or get the axe. Yep, that will work as well. I don't really want to attack Mia, you shouldn't but... Have come, Ethan. You know, needs must. Okay, we blocked. I'm dead, Ethan. I can never leave. Okay, we'll die then. We'll die. Oh, man. Okay, we've just aggroed her. Oh, wow, she's really, like, stabbing at us. Are you kidding me? Oh. No, she's changed back. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't have gone that hard on her with the axe, you know? We probably didn't have to attack quite that much. Are you okay? Well, what a stupid question. She's, uh... Yeah, she's not... She's not doing well. The phone's ringing, though. Maybe we'll get out. Maybe the police are calling. Everything all right there? And I'll be like, hell no. You really shouldn't have come here. Who's this? And what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic? Go there. Now. Okay, so we need to go to the attic. Wait. Did a door just open? Mia's gone again. Great. But the door is now open. Oh, and we're back into this area of the house. So this is the like living room area. She says there's a door in the attic, so we need to go upstairs. It's not responding, so we need to get the staircase down with this button. But, I'm guessing that we need power. There was a fuse box in the living room, wasn't there, of course. So maybe it's a case we need to find the fuse. I actually remember, guys, as well, we had a locked cabinet over here. Well, it's like a wardrobe, so maybe we can use the bolt cutters on this now. Get a spare fuse out there. Yeah, there we go. A spare fuse. Nice. So now we need to head on back to the living room and place that fuse in there. Here we go. We've now got the fuses in the fuse box. We'll be able to use the stairs in the attic. Oh, and Mia's back. She seems normal again. Apart from the you axe mark in her neck. To hurt me. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, she's not forgiven it us. Fucking hurt. Ooh, that'll hurt. Screwdriver to the hand. Quick, we need to pull it out. Quick. What's she doing? She's got a chainsaw, guys. What the hell? Quick! No! Quick! No! Oh my god! Okay. She's taken our whole hand. She's taken our whole hand. What the hell? I promise. That's insane. I. 
I forget like how crazy this game gets at the start. Like literally, we've got no hand. What are we? Well, how are we supposed to open the doors? I guess we've got one good hand, right? He's just clutching at it. Can we pick up our hands for later? Can we like collect it? Yeah, I'm gonna take that with us. We can put it on ice if we get out of here. <laughs> Poor Ethan. He's been through so much to save his wife, and she just does that to him. Up we go. If we can't save Mia, we're going to have to take her down and save her from herself. Right, let's have a look. Ooh, handgun. Handgun ammo. M19 handgun. Okay, fine. Just gonna have to be one of those things where we deal with her ourselves. There we go. Put a bit of medicine on our stump. Sure, that's gonna make it feel a whole lot better. We can aim at least. We can only fire one handed, but it's gonna have to be like firing a gun in the old west. All right, where's Mia? I'm guessing up this ladder. Yep, I can hear it. I can hear the chainsaw, guys. She's coming through. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Please. Wow, okay. Headshots, go for the headshots. Wow, she keeps... How is she avoiding that? I felt like they were perfect headshots. I'm running, guys. I am responsible. Boom. Boom. Oh, okay. She's running for us. No. Wow. Okay. Reload. We got her. She's still coming for us, though. Is that it? Are you done? You love us? Well, you've got a funny way of showing it. Rip Mia. Kind of feel sorry for her, but I don't think she's getting back up from that one anytime soon. Can we take her chainsaw? Evil dead us a little bit, maybe? I don't think we can, can we? So let's head on through this way. Welcome to the oh. family, son. That just startled me. I was like, what's happening? So, Jack Baker, the father of the house, oof, just takes us down. And there we go, guys. We've completed the opening of the game. We've got to see where the story goes next. We're getting dragged inside the house with Mia. So, obviously, Mia is going to come back. Her story is not ending there. Don't you die on us now. You have work to do. Ooh. Stapling his hands back on. Painful. I guess it's, at least we've got our hands back. We should be thankful for like, you know, for good things that do happen in this game, I guess. Because there's a whole lot of bad things that are going to happen to us. So I'll take the hand being stapled back on as a positive. Oh, where, where am I? A fine feast day, eh, guys. What the hell? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's time for supper. Who, who are all you people? Where's Mia? The whole family's here. Eat it. It's good. Dumb some bitch wasn't no good if it hit him. Damn. <laughs> Damn. He just took his hand. Gonna end up like us with a stapled back the hand. Got to eat. He got to have his supper. Come here, boy. Let's do this. Uh, no. Shit, shit, shit. He's not eating it, Jack. He's not eating it. Get the hell up, Marguerite. Oh, that for him. Get the hell out of here. You're a son of a bitch. Oh, I can't believe you, son of a bitch. Talk about a dysfunctional family. This was supposed to be a very special feast. Oh boy. I would have been happy with jelly and ice cream, you know? Maybe some pizza. Ooh. Okay. 
Saved by the bell. Better it's that cop again. God damn pigs. I'm coming back for you. You're coming back? Well, better get out of here before you before you do, right? Right, so guys, as I said, that is a dysfunctional family right there. Uh, look at what they're eating, look at the way they talk to one another. It's not good, is it? We're gonna free ourselves, we're gonna get out. There we go. Everyone apart from this old woman who's just chilling here. Well, she looks dead, doesn't she, to be honest. She looks pretty- oh, she blinked. She's like, please kill me. My life is not worth living. I have to put up with these people every day. Well, we're going to get out of here. Three missing during Urbex trip. State authorities are asking for help locating three men who went missing during their travels to Dolve Parish from New Orleans on the 9th of this month. I'm guessing they're like the three like, TV crew. Yeah, they are. The missing men have been identified as Peter Walken, Andre Stickland, and Clancy Jarvis. The three produced videos for the internet and travelled to Dolve to shoot footage of their latest production. Their videos consist mostly of a group exploring abandoned buildings and haunted houses. Alright. All things that we already know. Got a clock here, can we take that? No, we can put something on there, but I don't have anything to, to place on it. What's this? Nico's hardware. Hmm. Lots of saws to cut the bodies up. Anything in the fridge? Just intestines? Exactly what I keep in my fridge. Just intestines and guts. Oh, look, we've got a trapdoor. It's locked. We need a key. Right, so let's go and find that key, I guess. There's a way to the garage this way. It looks fragile. Maybe you can break it with something. So we need the knife. You do get a knife in this game. It's secured with tape that can't be removed by hand. So again, we need the knife for the tape. So let's just explore and see if we can find a key. Can we go through here? Nope, it's locked. Oh, man, bail. Run. Okay, okay, okay. I can hear him walking on the other side of that wall. We need to crouch, guys. We need to, we need to be stealthy now. Uncle Jack is on the prowl. Oh, he's there! Please don't come in here. Holy crap, he's right there! Go. Slip out before dinner was done? Yeah, 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 that's what I planned to do, just to slip out. Oh! Holy crap! Wow, okay, that scared me. I didn't expect that. I don't think that's actually happened to me when I've played the game before. But at least it's made another place for us to run through, right? Don't be scared. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm going to try and dupe him here. I'm going to try and run round and get the key from the table over here for the hatch. Okay, we've got that. And now we need to try and trick him again. We've got to try and, like, stay one step ahead so we can get down that hatch. Okay. Where's he at? I'm an old man, son. You can't take on Where an is old he? Man? Okay, there's the hatch, guys. We just need ah. to we just need to sneak over. Use the hatch key. Yeah, quick. Faster. Open, open, open. Right, now we need to go down. Oh, we made it, guys. We got a, a lucky escape there. And now we're into the I dunno. 
the basement area, I guess, or just the cavity of the house. I can hear him, like, walking about above us. So creepy. What's this? Antique coin. Oh, I'll take that. Let's see where this leads. We've got a cable leading us up here. Up and into the laundry room by the look of it. We've got a save point. I'm going to save. There we go. We've now saved. We've got a main house map as well. That'll be good to have. What's this? Ooh, chem fluid and a herb. Combine items in your inventory. So if we combine the chem fluid with the herb, we get a first aid med pack. Nice. So now we can heal up if we need to. Currently our health, as we can see on the watch, if you have a look there guys, you can see on the left corner our health seems to be like moderate. I think when it's green it's sort of good, when it's yellow like that it's caution, when it's red it's danger, just like in the old games. Um, we've got a storage box here as well. So here you can see, like, if I want, I can take the Albert uh, 01R, Albert Wesker's Magnum there. I don't want to take that because that's like a one-shot kill weapon. And basically, it's given to you when you complete the game. Obviously, I've already completed this game before. They really stink. But yeah, we don't want to take that because it will make us too OP for this playthrough. So I'm going to leave that there. What's in this box? Ooh, a lockpick. Nice. Is there anything else we can use in this room before we go? Don't think so. Let's head on out then. You unlocked it. Nice. Oh! We've got a phone call. Let's take the call. You did good, Ethan. Zoe, right? What the fuck are you? Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. You gotta get out of that house. There might be a way out through the main hall. All right. Oh, and that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. Okay, so we've got a codex on our wrist to tell, you know, what our health is and all that. Hell of a girl. That's Zoe, of course, the girl that spoke to us before, the mystery woman. We don't know who she is yet. But it seems like... Oh, good old Uncle Jack has gone elsewhere for now. Where can we use the lockpick, is the question. Doesn't seem to be any sign of Jack. Oh, we need something for this. We need an emblem to get into here. Little bobblehead. I think they're collectibles in this game. Right, so we need to find a way to get the emblem. Oh, what's that? Open up. Policeman. Can you help me? <laughs> Can you help us get out? Hey, you gotta help me. Hold on, back up. Now, sir, do you live here? I mean, is this your property? What? Me? No. No. All right. Now, we got several calls about some missing persons lately. You don't understand. I gotta get out of here. I calm down. You're not listening to me. There are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me. <laughs> well, all right. Let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck yourself, all right? Are you kidding me? Look, like I said, we've had several missing persons calls. And I can't rule out that an outsider like yourself may not be involved. All right. I'll tell you whatever you want. All right. Now, that's more like it. Now, meet me in the garage. We'll talk there. Hey, wait. You got to give me your gun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not likely. Lost your mind. Look. Officer. And deputy. Right. Deputy. Now, do you want to see my name in the obituaries? Or do you want to be a hero and save my life? A fucking pocket knife? Here. Take it. Better than nothing. That's all you're gonna get. Now go. Don't be ungrateful. Garage. Now. What am I going to do with a knife? Stab someone with it. <laughs> what do you think? We can at least slice this open. There you go. Handgun ammo for the gun that we don't have. And a garage sign. So let's go down to the garage, guys. We can now get through this um, little tape box, of course. 
There we go. And let the cop in. Hey, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Now first you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? No, it's my job. Why don't you do your job and tell me? Answer my questions. You're not gonna believe me if I told you. Try me. The door. We gotta get out. Hey, put that There's door. no time for talking. Wait! Oh, no. That's nasty. That is bad. Oh. Okay. I'm picking up the handgun straight away. And I'm picking up the car key. I remember exactly what we have to do here. All right, first of all, guys, let's just keep our sort of space from this guy. Get in here. And we're going to just use the key and get out. There we go. It's time to escape. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to ram Jack. There you go. Smash. We're going to run him over a few times, soften him up, and then get out of here. Where is he? Where's he gone? I don't know where he is. I'm just trying to, like, mush him up under the wheel. Wait, he's, on, he's above us? Yeah. He's in the car with us. Thanks. It's a piece of junk, but, you know, it's my little baby. God, what's he trying to do? Let's finish this. Oh you no, and I. this isn't good. He's gonna impale us. Oh yeah. No. I will take you for a Reverse. No, 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 no! Uh. Wow. I think that backfired on him. Yeah, definitely backfired on him. He's still alive though, he's like twitching away. All right. Um, that's what you deserve. Oh my God, there's a fire. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Move away from the vehicle. He's still alive. Stay back. Stay back. Keep away. He's still coming for us. Oh. Okay. Saved by the uh, explosion of a car. Right. Surely that has got to be the end of Jack for now, right? Like, he looks pretty cooked right there. Well, that was quite the uh, joyride that we just experienced, and Jack is a resilient guy, I'll give him that. We've got to take a moment to thank the policeman for his gun and knife, even though he didn't really help us that much outside of giving us his items. Oh, he's still alive. Your attention, boy. You're about to see someone. Fuck! Damn, he actually shot himself. Well, I was wrong. He was still alive. Oh well. He's not now. Right, what are we getting from here then? Ooh, the um, item piece we need for the door. This should fit in the doorway to give us access to the main house. There we go. Ox statue. We should be able to enter the main house now. Because I think this is like a guest house or something. Where's our gun? I want our gun to be ready, you know? <laughs> I'm carrying around a knife. We might as well actually get this bobble head. I'm not going to collect them all, but I want to kind of get this one. There you go. Right. So let's put the ox statue piece in this doorway. Now, hey presto, the door opens. Here we go, guys. We're in the main house. We've got a phone here as well. Another call from Zoe, perhaps? Did my dad 
daddy give you a hard time? That's your father? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he, he he's a he's dead now. <laughs> he's gonna say he's a dick. You just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch. Cool. So we've got to find a way out of the house next. That is going to be our next objective, guys. But that is going to be on episode two, I'm afraid. I need to basically save this game, and then we're actually going to go to episode two to continue playing on the game and see what happens next. But yeah, that's been part one of my playthrough. Obviously, I do know like a lot of this game, even though I don't remember everything. I did play it before several times. I'm trying to sort of give reactions um, honestly. Sometimes I like to pretend like... I don't know things so that I don't spoil the story for you guys who haven't seen it. But yeah, generally I'm trying to make it fun for people who uh, have played the game and people who haven't as well and balance it out. But hopefully it's working and it's been enjoyable for you to watch. And if it has, remember to leave a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.